Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is Monday guys and it's 12.30. And I'm coming on because I'm gonna make a little quick lunch for myself and I wanted to show you guys. I'm using stuff that's all in my refrigerator that I need to use up and um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I need to utilize everything that I have um, because times are rough, right? So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I have this corn on the cob. I thought when I made it the other day, Julie was going to take some home, but she didn't want any. So now I got this corn on the cob, which I will eat. But I figured I'm going to make like a little a little salad because I'm trying to eat better because my um, I've been a little laxed with my carbs and my sugar is a little bit higher than I want it to be. So I'm getting back on track with that, like kind of seriously for now. And so I'm going to make a salad. So I've been really into like these little crunchy salads lately. So I'm going to do corn. So I'm going to cut the corn off of the hub. So this is corn from the farm that I got. Um, we waited a long time for this corn and they didn't really have much and they only had um, really, really small ones. And they weren't the best. Uh, actually, they really aren't that sweet, but it is what it is. So it's better than the, than the food store. I mean, sometimes <coughs> Walmart and um, ShopRite, my, my local food store, they have really good corn sometimes. Just, I think it's, it's hit or miss. I really do. So anyway, we're going to utilize this. I got my tomatoes from my garden. Yeah. So I'm just going to break this up a little bit with my hands. I'm starving. Now, corn is a cob. Corn is a cob. Corn is a carb. But It's not like bread. You know what I mean? Mmm. Sweet. I love corn. I know corn has no tradition, no nutritional value whatsoever. It doesn't even stay in your body. But I love it. <laughs> doesn't digest. Comes right out of you. But it tastes good going down, guys. All right, so listen. I'm going to be doing something a little different, guys. I'm coming on to say that I am on a mission. Remember last year when I was on a mission to get 1,000 subscribers? Well. I'm on a mission to get to 2,000 subscribers now. I'm at 1278, and I wanna, my goal is to get to 2,000. I don't really have a time, a time frame. I'd like it to happen quickly, but whenever it happens, it happens. Well, let's see, it's August, right? So September, October, November, December, January. I'd like to do it by the first of the year. I'd like to do it by 2024. By 2024, I'd like to get to 2,000 subscribers. So if you guys could help me out, I would so, so appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, even if you don't, like, if you, if you watch, just try to hit that subscribe button because it really helps my channel grow and it will make, it'll help me go further in what I wanna do with this channel and um, all of that, and I really, really do appreciate it, guys. So share the videos, like the videos, hit that notification button with that bell, because when you guys do that, um, they, YouTube recognizes my videos, and then they'll, and then they'll recommend my videos more. So then that 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 where that then my videos will get more exposure. I really, really do appreciate you guys, and if you like what you see, please hit. <coughs> hit the subscribe button, okay? Subscribe, 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 hit the share button, share out my videos, tell your friends. I really, really appreciate it, guys, if you like what you see here. 
any suggestions on videos you want, uh, write down in the comment down below. Um, I'm really going to be working on it the, after the bridal shower. I'm going to be working on this channel very se much more seriously. Not that I'm not serious about it and haven't been, but there's just been a lot going on financially, emotionally, everything with, with the wedding. The wedding's in October, so that'll it'll, definitely after the wedding it'll be more lightened up. But after the shower, because I'm hosting and I'm doing the whole thing, it's really just been consuming me. But um, I really love this channel. I love what I do here. The bottom line is I have so much fun um, and it motivates me. It gives me a reason to get up in the morning, literally. And I just really, 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 really enjoy it and love interacting with all of you guys. And I wanna really just have fun and give you guys the best. So please subscribe, tell your friends guys, all right? Going for that 2,000 subscribers hopefully by 2024. So thank you guys so much. Um, I have the best uh, YouTube friends. I know I do. So just pass it all along. All right, guys. So with saying that, let's get going on this because I'm really hungry. So I have this corn. I'm only making like a small amount that I'm going to eat now. I'm not going to do the whole thing because there's nobody else in the house that's going to eat it. So I don't want to make a big thing because I'll end up throwing it out. So I'm just making one, one or two servings for myself. Because I say one or two servings because of the sleeve. Yeah, so. Oh, I have this tomato now. I'm gonna, I think I washed it already, but. I'm gonna cut it up and hopefully it'll be good because some of the tomatoes aren't that great. Eh. All right, let's see. I really wanted to use some cherry tomatoes for this, but um, I'm going to use this one because I think it's it's ready. I like my my um, maybe I can show you better. I like my um, tomatoes cut small. Now these are homegrown tomatoes, like I said, and they're not they're not really the, the best. I don't know if they're not all the way ripe. Let's taste it. I have got a few that have been amazing. Like, amazing. This one's not bad. This one's pretty good. But, I tell you, I'm having to bring them in the house to harvest them because they're just, they're just not getting red out there. They really aren't. They're taking forever and then the bugs are getting to them. So I've been bringing them in so I could get them red on my own instead of having to leave them out there for the bugs to, to start eating because I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to put a little salt on them. It's the best way to eat these. So, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. That's typical. The salt just, my salt shaker just, um, turned over and it all fell out on my floor. Half, not half, but a nice amount. So now I gotta clean that up. Uh, all right, so I don't have any parsley or or um, basil left. There might be some in the garden I could probably snip off. I think I got most of it off though. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So I'm just gonna finish up this tomato. And like I said, I like it. I like this piece of small. I gotta clean that up with the vacuum before Cooper comes in because Cooper will lick it up and then he'll be he will be um, very thirsty. I'm just gonna cut up some of these olives. I like some black olives. Now. I don't know. I, I had some chicken here that I have left over from the barbecue. I was thinking of putting a little bit of that in just to have some protein. Because I'm trying to get some protein in as well because you can't just eat, you know. Get lost. I have cucumber. Get out of here. I've been trying to kill this fly for days. 
I every time I think I kill him, he's back. So it must be it must be another one. They get in, and we let Cooper in and out. Or you open up the door, they're just friggin' relentless. So I got cucumber, corn, and guys, strawberries. I love strawberries in my salad. You know, in my, I like to make like, I, whenever I make a salad like this, or even just a regular salad, I put strawberries in it, I, if I have them. I love the sweetness that the strawberry gives. Just, it's really, really delicious. So, a little fiber is good in here because I'm trying to do better with fiber and all that because um you know um get lost um I ran out of paper towels I gotta get to the food store finally my husband got something, some money in, not unemployment. We're still waiting for unemployment. It's only been four, five, it's only been six weeks, you know. You can literally starve out here. The government, they don't give a shit. They don't care. And so tomorrow, I gotta run and get some food. Not really some food. I, I mean, I need some stuff, but not major stuff, but I need like paper towels and, you know, a couple of like, filling things. So yeah. See now, this is like, this right here is going to be like two, two or three servings for me. I'm so hungry. Um, but yummy, look at that. Mm. Fresh. So I got some chicken. Some chicken thighs that we bought, that we barbecued the other night. Throw a little bit of this in. I'm hungry. Yummy. bone, they were bone in, so, everything you got guys I was gonna put cheese but I don't think I'm gonna put cheese I actually don't chicken left here. Leave that for something else. Alright. 
I gotta get the vacuum and clean this up. Look, guys. Look. Okay. You see it? What am I doing here? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta get the vacuum and clean that up. All right, guys, I cleaned that up. Now I'm just gonna put some seasonings on my salad. I'm gonna use some of this cilantro lime seasoning that I got at the Dollar Tree. Check out the Dollar Tree guys for stuff. Cause you can find some different stuff there. Um, again, also I'm gonna be doing my empties again. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna bring about, I'm gonna bring back talk about it Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's all going to come. Everything's going to start coming back now because of this shower will be over. Get my head together. All right. Um, let's do garlic powder. This is onion powder. some parsley put whatever seasonings you like in here guys Italian seasoning whatever you like and I'll get some just regular basil even though I have Italian seasoning some basil Um, I think that's what, that's what I'm going to put in. That's all I'm going to put in. Always cutting myself. This looks so yummy, but I can tell you right now, I feel like it needs more corn. Mm. Guys, I still don't have my, my taste back. That's why I got nervous and thought I had COVID because my cold that I have. I, my, my taste buds are completely off. They're better. They're definitely better. But it's hard for me to taste. I'm wondering why nothing tastes like anything because I'm saying, why why doesn't this taste like I'm saying everything is not good. And my family is like, what are you talking about? It's so delicious. It's because my cold has taken over my, my taste buds. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling ya. Alright. You could put avocado in this, you could put onion, you could put... I do have a little bit of onion here, I'm going to use this, just this, a little bit of white onion that I have left. And I might as well use. And I'm going to put, I'm going to use French dressing. And I think some balsamic.
really good. I like dressing, but I'm not an overly, like, I don't like it overly seasoned, um, overly dressed and dressed. So good, guys. Um, I think because my taste buds, I feel like it's lacking something, but I think it's just because of my situate my my cold. That's what's lacking. Now, I'm not going to eat even a quarter of this. I'm going to take three more bites, probably, and then I'll put it aside and eat it later. I'll pick at it all day. That's why I don't also... want to... Overly dress it because then I mean it's gonna be a little soggy, but the only thing really that's in here that's gonna get really bad so will be soggy is the tomatoes. I can taste. So good. So. I assume it would be even better if my cold wasn't here. Mmm. So good, guys. Tomatoes, olives, and put whatever you like in this. You know what I mean? If you don't like cucumbers, don't put cucumbers in. If you don't like olives, don't put olives in. Obviously. Um, put whatever you eat in here. This is a good way to get rid of, um, stuff that you have that you need to use up. If you have people over or even just, you know. We're just checking on Cooper. Um, all right, guys. I had mushrooms I could put in this, but I didn't feel like mushrooms went, went with this. I wanted to keep the mushrooms. Oh, black beans would be good in here. That's a really good source of fiber. Pinto beans. Kidney beans. My mom was big on that. My mom loved, she would make tomato, cucumber, and vinegar. She would put canned beets in. She loved it. Canned string beans. Canned 
kidney beans. She loved it. Make this into like a Mexican. Put some taco seasoning on it. Turn it around, you know? Beans. I think I have some beans in the... In the, in the Yeah. I had some of these and I opened up a can of beans. Good way to get rid of them. I'm not gonna put an enormous amount, just a little bit. I'm gonna put these in the freezer now, cause these been in the fridge. And I'll use them for like chili or something. So I'll put them in the freezer. So yeah, guys. So this is this. This is the plan for this channel. I want this channel to go far. There's a lot of things going on in my life. Shower, the wedding, finances. Everything just changed. 2023 has been... Had so many ups and downs. So many good things. So many bad things. But, guys, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because even though we have it bad, there are people that have it worse. There really are. There really are people out there who have it worse. So, you just got to be thankful. You really do have to be thankful and grateful. Look around you. You have so much. I know I have so much. As little as I have, I have so much, guys. All right, guys. So, this is my video for, this, for right this moment. I figured I'd make you a nice corn, tomato, a cucumber, light summer salad. That you could eat in the fall. I know that. Empty out my using up my stuff. Emptying out my fridge, using up my fresh stuff. And make it something delicious. Try it, guys. Try it. Sometimes you don't realize like what goes, what can go together. Yeah. You, know. you know how you know? You try it. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. 
just know that there's going to be a lot going on on this channel. It's going to be so much fun. Me and Hubby have some stuff planned. <coughs> this is a teaser. We have some really great stuff coming up. So look forward to that. Very, very excited about that. You know us together. We could be a little crazy. He's a little crazy. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, you really help my channel grow. And I'm really trying to grow my channel. Like I said, I'm trying to get to 2,000 subs, guys. I'm at 1278 now. Help me do that. Share with your friends. Tell, um, tell everybody about it. And I hope you like what you see. If not, just put, put some comments down below. You guys know I always want your comments. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload another video and a new video. And like and share and comment down below, guys. Okay? Love you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this summer corn clean out your fridge cabinets, whatever. Salad, guys. See you on the next one. Love yous. Bye.